We operate 400 hectares of various crops, grass seeds, sugar beet, cereals and some construction work. Behind me you can see the Dancorn drying silo installed four years ago and planned as a supplement to the old dryer. We use it mainly for wheat. It can contain 700 tons and we fill it up with between 4 and 700 tons depending on the yields. We chose Dancorn as supplier because of their dealer agent and because their system was a perfect match for the existing dryer. It was much simpler and cheaper to buy this solution rather than trying to expand the existing dryer. To get it connected to the existing plant, we've installed the long conveyor to fill the silo automatically. The silo has functioned as intended and is very labor-saving. You don't have to think about it when you start out with the combine in the morning until the evening. It only requires supervision in between and after harvest, while the silo finishes the grain drying. Since it's been installed, we've only had small service visits, and our Swedish supplier was on top of that. My contact is Jan Freiman from JL Acre Parts, and I'm very happy to work with him. If you have small batches, it's good to be able to store those in small boxes in the old plant. But otherwise, it's generally good with the large volume. I save many hours on a busy harvest day with this type of system. When I've delivered grain in the winter, the grain has always had high and equal quality, with only half a percent difference in moist content. The silo dryer fits perfectly with my existing dryer. I use bioheat from our straw burner, first as a heat increase for the drying air in the old dryer. At the same time, the stirring silo runs with just cold air and removes the highest percentages of water from 20% down to 17%. Then I shift the bioheat to the crop in the silo dryer and finish this off in September as additional heat. If I were to expand my old dryer, I also had to buy an upgrade of my straw heater to be able to provide enough heat, and that would have cost as much as two silos.